Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm sorry it's been so long since I last uploaded. However, I have been ill. Uh, I have been trying to recover. Like, I was busy last week, a little bit busy. And then this week, I've been uh, ill for all of this week. Otherwise, I would have had this video up ages ago. Uh, but since I'm, I'm most of the way, or at least I'm feeling a lot better now, I can start I, I can actually film this because it's going to be a lot more uh a lot of an, a much easier episode however i am going to make a difference with this one because it's pre-season i'm not going to do voiceover with the games uh i am just gonna have it with the music in the background and have the fans and that okay so i've just tried editing and i've just seen that the start of this video uh the the game the recording of the gameplay malfunctioned so, <laughs> all, you, all you've missed so far is I've signed James Ward-Prowse and I drew my first game 1-1 against Colonia. Uh, that's pretty much all that was missed and then I restarted the recording and yeah, so what's left, I will actually have the gameplay footage. Right, draw is not the best result, but we are going to be playing the next match. Right, for this one I will be signing another player as well, so I will be just going in for... Panagiotis Retsos. Uh, he seems like a sensible signing. He can play centre back, left back, or right back. So I'm going to go in for Panagiotis Retso uh, Retsos. Let's go in at value 30, at 12 million pounds. They want 18 million, so we go right in the middle, and we go 15 million. Oh, why are they sticking? Why are they so difficult to negotiate with today? Jesus. 16 million. Uh, 17 million. Surely they're willing to give a little bit of leeway. There we go. We'll, no, we'll do that in a bit. We will <coughs> just go and offer wages for, <coughs> for Retsos now. He will be a rotation player. Important. Yeah, I mean he's gonna he's gonna play in various positions anyway. So uh, he we'll we'll sign him on five years. And twenty eight thousand five hundred pounds. Yes, that will do. Another offer's come in for Mason Bloomfield. Please just accept one. So we've got a mixture in this one. We're going with Cohen Castiles and Gold, and it's Max Aaron's Rocky Bashiru, Christos Uman, and Panagiotis Retsos across the back line. At the moment, Retsos is our backup left back, but I am thinking of signing another left back before the season starts, and then that way Retsos can go into being a backup centre back. <coughs> uh, Banassa and Ward Prowse, which will be my first choice central midfield, is playing, and then Fitzpatrick, Almada, Hernandez. And then Adam Eder's up front. It's been so long since I've played FIFA, I don't even know how I'm going to do.
So there you have it. 1-1 one, one draw at the end of that one. Uh, who do we drew? So we drew with Colonia in the first one. So it's now Colonia and Lille are now both on four points. We're on two points. So we need to win our last match. And Marseille has just come in with an offer for Dan Adshead on loan, which is going to be a no. I have to say, from that match... Uh, Retsos was very good. Castile's made a couple of a couple of saves where he did well to hold on to them. James Ward Prowse didn't do as well as I was hoping, but you know, he still did have a very good match as well. Simulate this one. Okay, two one win. So we take the place of Lille because they ended up losing so we actually did manage to get into the next round. So they've, uh, Burnley have made an, uh, an ambitious offer for Emi Buendia. They've offered £15.5 million. I am going to say no to that one. Uh, don't think Emi will be leaving us anytime soon. I don't think any of our first team players will be leaving us anytime soon. So we're now going to simulate the sporting match. And we win that one 2-1. So we are going to have a final to play in this one as well. Vanto's made an offer for Oscar Hill. I'm going to negotiate that one. Loan length. That's the thing I wanted to counter. I'll go for a short-term loan. Um, yeah, sure. We'll pay £600 towards his wages. So he should be going out on loan. Right, so we've got Colonia, who we drew with in our first game. And now Getafe have offered for Adamida. How about no? You know what? Before we go in to that one, let's offer, let's sign our third player. It's going to be Briel Mboro from Borussia Mönchengladbach. We, I do enjoy signing a good Borussia Mönchengladbach player. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go in at his value, eighteen million pounds. They want 28 million. So I can see that this one is going to be a difficult one to negotiate. So let's go 24 million. Yeah, why not? Let's go 24 million. Oh, they've gone down by a million. 25 million. Okay, so we were getting Briel and Bolo for 25 million. Uh, I think it said last season he scored 12, 10 goals in the Europa League. That was what made me be like, hmm, maybe I should be signing him. Um, but he will be a, he'll be playing right mid as well at times. Uh, important first team player, yep. Three years, let's go four years. Disregard release clause, and he's come straight to me with the wages he wants. Hallelujah, why can't all players do that? And there we go. Two more signings I want to make. First, I'm going to make now, and this is going to be a deal for the future. It's going to be Ander Baronetchia. I don't know if I'm I'm butchering that name 100%, but it's fine. <coughs> Someone can correct me on how to say it. I have the excuse of I'm ill right now, so 2.5 million. There we go. We'll just call him Ander for now. We'll just stick with that. I don't know how I don't know the pronunciation. Uh, he will be sporadic first team player. Okay. He wants four years. Yep. Isn't looking to add a release clause. Works for me. Uh, let's offer him ten grand a week. He's probably going to come back and be like, "That's insulting," and that's fine because then next time I'll just offer him more. No? Oh, he only wants 10,500. Okay, I take that back. And there we go. Ooh, well, Soshi Dad have made an offer for Max Aaron's 24.2 million pounds. I'm going to say no. I'm just going to straight reject it. No surprise there. Eschberg have made an offer for... Oh, I didn't even realise he'd, re he'd rejected it, but just someone take him. What I'm going to do with Mason Bloomfield... Uh, 
I am just going to, if he's not accepted a club by the end of the season, by the end of the transfer window, I'm just going to release him. So the team we're going with for this one, it's the final. We're going with Castillo's in goal, then we're going Aaron's, Retzos, Godfrey, Lewis, the back line, Bernasa, Ward, Prowse, Mbolo, Cantwell, McNeil, and then Erling Haaland is up front. And there we go, we've won our pre-season tournament, hopefully, I'm not sure, if, I don't think we won either of the previous two years, but we have done it this time, on penalties, uh, 
hopefully it's the same things to come for this season because hopefully we can so my aim for this season is Europa League top four if we can get in Europa League and finish in the top four I'd be happy with that uh, our aim from the board is finishing Europa League spot but I would rather finish in, in, in finish in the top four get into the Champions League that way so I have to say so far uh, Retzos feels like I'm going to have fun using him Cohen Castiles is a quality goalkeeper. Transfer offer for Adam Eder. Twenty million pounds. Um what is it between fifteen point six and twenty two point nine I should be getting. Uh I'm gonna reject that one because he's gonna grow a lot. And we have a transfer offer come in for Ben Godfrey, which I'm just going to straight out reject instantly. <laughs> no way are we letting Ben Godfrey go anywhere. He's 80 rated now. So, nope, not happening. Okay, so, I have a job for you guys. I want you to tell me which left back do you want me to bring in. Right, so you have a choice of three left backs that I can bring in next week. Either Ruben Duarte, or that I can bring in next next episode, whenever it's going to be. Ian, Robin, Ruben Duarte, Ian Munoz, or I can spend... Perhaps a little bit more and get Rami Ben Sabaini. I'm then going to maybe look at getting Palaversa or just somebody who can play attacking midfield. Choice of them three. <coughs> Whichever one of them gets more people want, I think I should sign, then uh, I will go with them. Our first game of the season, next episode, will be Aston Villa. Then it's going to be Southampton, then Stoke, then Wolves. I will play, be playing the full first month of August, and then after that, I will kind of change it up a bit. Uh, just because I don't know what games are going to be when, so some games I will, some episodes will have four or five, uh, four or five games, and I will simulate the rest, <coughs> and I'll simulate a couple. How many games in an episode will vary depending on uh, what's coming up, basically. We will be doing the press conference for the first game of the season. will be done in the next episode. I'm sorry that this video has taken so long. I have been absolutely exhausted. I've had this whatever I've got has absolutely taken it out of me. Hopefully, I'll be back able to record properly soon enough. I will hold off on recording another episode of this until I'm actually better because I want to be able to actually do commentary. I decided for this video I could do it without doing the actual commentary. Don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and in the meantime, until the next video, I will see you then.